Welcome to Science in the News. And what we're going to be doing is looking for a science news article, creating an outline, a summary, and then answering a couple reflection questions. Uh, today we're going to be using uh, Newzella or News ELA. And the first thing we need to do is click on that link, and then we're going to log in. You can do that here, or sign in, or join in. And you're going to do that with Google. <clears throat> so once you click there, just click on your Google select your student account, your Godfrey Lee account, and then go ahead and click on there. So the next step is going to be selecting an article. And I want you to select a science article that interests you. So to find a science article in the news, you can find it in a couple places. Uh, you can go down here to science and tech. So that's one way. Uh, you can browse right here, and there's a science section there. Um, there's also Spanish articles right here, so if you'd prefer it in Spanish, you can do that there. So I'm going to click on the science and tech. And over here, so there's a few articles here, uh, but there's more. So if you kind of click on this blue link right here, you select there. Then there's several other articles that you can choose from. Uh, so find one that's interesting to you, uh, take a few minutes, look through some of the titles and see if there's anything interesting. Um, if you want uh, one that you can have either in Spanish or English, uh, you look for this little ES right here in the corner. You can do that. Um, so that way it's available to you in either language. All right, and I'm gonna look here. Oh, so there's another one. So I'm gonna collect uh, click here, the Hurricane Ian. You don't have to select this article, right? You can select one that's interesting to you. So once you find an article and you click on it, you can change the Lexile, the reading level, um, to whichever you would like. So you can, in this case, you can switch it um, is high or is low. The only thing I ask is not to go to max because then it doesn't have subtitles and it's going to make it hard to make an outline. So you can select whichever level is most appropriate. Usually the 900 level is about um, the ninth grade level, um, but you can select whatever whichever you're comfortable with. Um, so I'm going to select here. Um, you can also select Spanish. So if you prefer the article in Spanish, you can go ahead and do that. You can see um, it translates. And once you select Spanish, you can also select a Lex Isle that you would prefer. All right. Um, so I'm going to go back to English. I'm not going to do the max. I'm going to go to 800. And once I have my article selected and my Lex Isle level selected, then I can go ahead and start the outlining process. Uh, outlines are helpful for many reasons. Uh, the first one is to identify important main ideas of articles. And second, it break you can break articles or readings down into smaller pieces so it's more manageable. So you don't have to read a whole article and then have to remember it and write a summary about it. So the first step is identifying uh, the titles and the subtitles so we can break this into smaller pieces. Um, so here we have the title, um, Hurricane Ian Lashes Florida Leaves Heavy Damage Millions Without Power. So what I'm going to do on my outline, identify the title, and then I'm just going to rewrite that title right here. So um, Hurricane Ian Lashes Florida. All right, so I'm just going to leave that there. Okay, then it asks for the introduction. All right, and then a subtitle. So introduction, main ideas, and then it has subtitles here. So next I'm going to identify the subtitles. So I'm going to scroll through the article. All right, there's that intro. And then I'm going to, here's the subtitle. So you can tell it's a subtitle. It's in bold. It's in a little bit bigger font, uh, but just for a little bit, make it a little bit easier, I'm going to go and highlight it. So this is my subtitle number one, Rescue Efforts Underway. And I'm going to scroll down. All right, here's my subtitle number two, but with Cuban migrants sink. 
And then I am going to find, this one has three, storm surge threat. So then I'm going to highlight that and then right there. Now next, I am going to add that to my outline. Okay, so I added each one of those subtitles to my outline. So this is subtitle one, rescue efforts underway. Subtitle two, boat with Cuban migrants sink. That's two. And then the third one here, the storm surge threat. So um, I only had to use three of them, um, but if there was more, there's a backside to the paper. So subtitle four, five, six, seven. Uh, I don't think any of the articles have more than that. Uh, you do not need to fill all of these out. All right, some have two subtitles, some three, some four. So it just depends on the article that you've picked. So now what we've done is basically broken up the article into four main pieces here. Um, so this part here that we're looking at is the introduction. All right, so you're gonna read through this first part here and then um, write the main idea of the article right here. All right, then rescue efforts underway. So then you're gonna read through this section here and then write down at least one or two of the main ideas here. They do not need to be in complete sentences. You're just looking to pick out the what you think is the main idea. I usually like to write down one thing from each large paragraph, um, but, and again, you don't have to write in complete sentences. All right, so then I go down here and I write down from this section one or two of the key ideas in this part of my outline, and then I go through and then I write down one or two key ideas from this section here into my outline. Once I have that done, then I pretty much I have my summary done, and all you really need to do um, for the summary is you just kind of, um, you kind of cross out the subtitles there, and whatever you wrote here, Okay, that would be, sorry, your introduction here, that would be your first or second sentence. And then here would be your third sentence, fourth, fifth, sixth, um, depending on how long. Uh, so really, once you have your outline, then you have your summary done. So once you get your outline, have me check it, make sure it looks good. Then you can go to the computer here and do the next part, which is uh, creating your summary, which will go here. Uh, you're going to find two words in the article that you're unfamiliar with or maybe you don't use very much and then define those and tell me what you found interesting and then questions and make sure you always answer uh, one of the questions um, or it, not answer but give one a question at least that tells me that you're thinking about the article oh in this part right here the title of your article and then a link so you can go to the newzella here um, you can copy and paste your title, copy it, and then you can go ahead and paste that in. Oh, let's change that font because that's huge. Minus, 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 minus. Um, and then you can actually even insert a link. So all I did was right click, insert link, and then I just go up to the top here, copy the email address, all right? and then I paste it in, apply, and it's all linked in right there. All right, that's all. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.